right, it is our last full day here in Costa Rica and we are attempting to make the uh, most of it by going down to the beach and seeing if we can take out a kayak. It's about 2.15 now and they close at 4. So we are cutting it quite close since this is our last day and uh, we're not even sure how this process even works. So we're gonna go down there and see. All right, so we went to the place where you uh, take the, rent the kayaks out and the guy said that it was actually too dangerous to uh, take it out right now. Not that we couldn't do it, that we really shouldn't do it because the current would take us, could take us out and it was dangerous. We decided not to do it. He said it's best in the morning, but he also made just kayaking on the, in the ocean in general seem really, really unsafe. So I'm kind of just wondering whether I want to do it at all because it does just sound really unsafe, but I also do want to try it. I kind of also thought that they had tours available where they would go with you, but apparently that is not available. Taking the kayak out though is free. It's complimentary, so that's good. So I'm thinking maybe tomorrow morning after breakfast, we'll get up early, have breakfast, and then um, give it a shot. See how safe we feel, how hard it is. I think I would be disappointed if I didn't at least try. So I think tomorrow morning we'll do that. So today's our last day and I just realized that this uh, window opens up pretty much all the way. <laughs> all right, so we've officially decided not to do the kayaking. It just seems really unsafe, like in a country where they don't really seem to be very concerned about safety when somebody who is running the activity tells you that it's just a generally unsafe activity, it's probably a good idea not to do it. Especially since I have never kayaked in an ocean before and they don't send a guy with you, we just felt that it just probably wasn't a good idea. But this decision has kind of just brought to the forefront a topic about a feeling that I have been feeling almost this entire trip, and that is travel of FOMO. I am not somebody who gets FOMO whatsoever. In fact, if, if you ask Jason, he would tell you that I actually have JOMO, which is the joy of missing out, because I just do actually prefer to be at home. Don't really mind if I'm not invited out anywhere. Would probably rather be at home. So I don't really have the fear of missing out in my general day to day. But one place that I seem to always have a FOMO is when I travel. I always feel this anxiety that I need to be doing more and seeing more and experiencing more and that I'm not doing enough, I'm not experiencing enough, I'm laying by the pool too much, I'm having too much relaxing time, I'm not making the most of my trip. And in this trip, I feel like I have that feeling. But on the other hand, I feel like I made the most of this trip. We did so much activity in the first week. We had something planned pretty much every single day. We we saw all what, what we could have realistically saw in the time that we were in each place. And I should feel good about that. I should feel happy about that, but I haven't helped feeling this entire trip that feeling of like, oh, I should have done more. I sh it's just overwhelming and it makes me depressed and it really makes me anxious and I'm really trying to work on not feeling that way. Coming to the W here on the Conchal Reserve really activated my FOMO and my anxieties about that because we did just sit by the pool for five days pretty much. I feel like we just didn't make enough of our time. We didn't explore this part. We literally just stayed on this resort grounds and didn't leave so i feel a little bit like we didn't do enough and that we should have done more but you, I, I can't feel that way it, i shouldn't feel bad for relaxing by a pool i shouldn't feel bad for enjoying my time and worrying about what you're missing and what you're not doing when you're trying to have a good time take away from the good time that you're having like I've just been worrying this entire time whether or not I picked the right uh, tour group, if I picked the right hotel, if I picked the right activity to do, if I picked enough time to stay at this place or at that place. And it just takes away from my enjoyment of travel. And so I want to move away from that. I want it to just be okay whatever I did. I was actually supposed to do the kayaking on Wednesday, but my anxiety just had hit such a peak 
that it, it ruined. So I had so much anxiety about missing out on things that I worked myself up so badly that I couldn't do the activity that we actually had planned to do. Because I was so anxious that all I wanted to do was just be in the room and not go out and do anything. So like, I just need to move away from that. It's really funny though because my anxiety, my depression before we got to this trip, like just before when we were leaving, I had such anxiety about doing the tours and everything that I almost was just like, I don't want to do them anymore. But I do find that when I try to push through my depression and anxiety and do the activity that scares me and is making me want to turn, that I don't regret doing that activity. So I think it's important to push yourself but at the same time, forgive yourself when you don't, maybe you don't do everything to the absolute fullest, but that's okay. You don't have to do everything to the absolute fullest, just do your best. So what I'm trying to say is, I don't know, but just be okay with yourself. Be okay with not being perfect, be okay with not having the perfect travel itinerary. So that is what I'm going to work on. I'm going to work on being happier and being okay with if I miss something, if I don't do every single thing that is recommended to do in a country, that's okay. Just be happy with the experiences that you did have. So I will leave you with these last words. Go out and enjoy your life and forgive and be easier on yourself. Because I think we probably all are just a little bit too hard on ourselves and I know it's not really serving me, it's giving me anxiety and sadness when I should be super happy. Anyways, um, we leave tomorrow morning so I am going to get to packing up all my stuff so uh, we don't have that much to do tomorrow. So. We just got back from our final dinner here in Costa Rica and it was actually really enjoyable. We didn't know what we were getting into before we showed up, but um, we got there, we realized it was something called a Tico night brunch. Tico is what I think the local Costa Ricans are called and um, this night brunch, our server explained to us was like what they get when they go out with friends drinking and it was actually really good. There was like a tiny little plates kind of like tapas of like everything yeah so we got to try a bunch of different uh local cuisine which was really really cool and really nice i actually enjoyed it of course not everything a lot of things has stuff that i didn't like in it but i tried to try everything and uh I, overall it was pretty good i'm really glad that we had that experience we did no idea that it was going to happen but i'm glad that i did now i'm going to uh just finish packing up everything because we are leaving tomorrow. I try not to be too sad. I am ready to go home. It's been an absolutely lovely trip. I'm so glad that we came, but I'm ready to just, you know, have some solitude in my house by myself and not have to be out in public every day. Good morning. It is our very last day here in Costa Rica. We are getting all packed up right now. We're about to go sit by the pool probably for just about an hour. Then we're gonna do a very early lunch at around 11 and then now uh, we're off to the airport. So these are our last few hours here in Costa Rica. So uh, I'm not hungry at all. It's only about 11.15. We didn't have breakfast too long ago, so I'm just having a little salad before we have to gather up all our things and uh, head to the airport. So we booked a car here at the hotel to take us to the airport. I believe it's from GoCR, which seems to be a very popular tourist and transportation company, at least in this part of Costa Rica. So uh, I think it's about an hour and a bit to the airport, so let's go. Alright, this transfer is extremely comfortable and it wasn't too, too much money. It's pretty big just for the two of us and these seats are the most comfortable seats I've ever had. So ever? looking forward <laughs> ever in my life. So, so our final thoughts on the W. G2, G2. 
Jason has gone back. I warmed up to it. Jason's gone back and forth a million times, but I think that we have fallen on the verdict that uh, Jason would come back. I would, absolutely. Um, it definitely got better the longer we were there. Um, as the people who worked there got to know us, the service got better, and they they re you really got the sense that they really were trying to give absolutely. you a good experience. And physically, the hot in the hotel is quite nice. Yeah. So Brand new, modern, very, very clean, very sufficient in that regard. Um, it's a very small airport with one runway and the first thing that you will notice is that there is no AC in this airport. I actually wore shorts there to the airport. Oh my god, okay, so there is no AC when you are checking in, um, but then when you get to the gates, past security, there is AC. I did wear shorts to the airport, which I don't usually do. I usually put my pants back on. But I'm super glad that I didn't because <laughs> it was really, really hot. But now that we're in the gates, uh, there is AC. Sure, in the gates, the airport looks pretty normal, um, average airport, but it's quite small. So even though this um, airport's super tiny, they do have a small VIP lounge and this is the first one that my private pass has got us into. I'm glad that we didn't pay for it. <laughs> There's no AC in here and uh, the food's not the greatest, but it actually might be better out <laughs> by the gates. actually changed my mind. The food here isn't that bad. I have a little salt. And they've uh, put on some music now, so it's a lot less of a depressing vibe in here. So overall, you know, it's an experience. Chairs. So even though these aren't lay flat seats, there's still plenty of room 